Good day friends! For today's show and tell I have brought you something to tell you about a very special talent of mine. I have brought this flower. We all know what flowers are. I would guess very pretty, very very cool. Thumbs up. Now if you were to entrust this flower to me then something crazy will happen and after just a little while it will um, look something like this. I can't, I can't take care of, of plants. That's that's the talent. Decorative plants at least. I mean I grow my own vegetables every year and that always works out very well. Like herbs and vegetables are fine but as soon as it comes to anything else that and also the reason that I have two little birds who would absolutely go to town on everything slightly plant related with no sense of self-preservation are the reasons why I don't have any real plants in my room. Even though I love plants, plants are cool, great, uh, love them. And I, I really would like to be surrounded by lots of greens. But then at some point I thought I am an arts and crafts genius, a title given to me by the totally real and definitely not made up secret arts and crafts society. Surely I can make some flowers, some some good looking fake flowers myself. And I came to the conclusion that I want to make paper flowers. I've watched like half of two videos on how to make them. Surely that'll be enough. I know kind of know how to make them. The rest we can improvise. It'll be fine. Trust me. Um, materials. I've bought some crepe paper, some nice, oh god, it's all falling, some nice floral colors. Orange, love orange flowers. Yellow, must have. Light blue, thought it was pretty. Some green, some brown, some white, very nice. There's a little insect sprinting around. Okay, some floral wire. This is very wobbly. I'm not sure if this is suited, but we're gonna make it work. This is all I have. And then also some green ribbon. It's, um, that will turn into some very beautiful looking flowers, I promise. I'm very confident, as you can see. Okay, let's go find a desk. Will I be able to move this without flooding the entire room? There's, um, there's, there's water in here, but this needs to go because I need the space. So, um, can I do it? No, the, the answer is obviously no, but <laughs> when has that ever stopped me? I did manage to move it without spilling water everywhere. Success! Okay, now we got a desk. At least uh, half of a desk because there's a stained glass project that I'm working on currently right there. This is my biggest project yet and also the reason why there haven't been stained glass videos in a while because I've been working on this. This is for our freshly renovated bathroom and um, it's over 140 pieces and I am definitely not going insane with this. All right, this has to stay here. Don't don't mind that. We are going to ignore that. But right here, some flowers are going to be created. By the way, I, I don't don't have an exact plan of what kind of flowers I want to make. I just googled wildflowers and then I slapped some pictures onto a appropriate canvas. But I've got a hot glue gun and some determination, so it'll be fine. I'm just going to choose a random flower from the ones I'm seeing right now and try to make this out of paper with very little knowledge. Also very bright, this light, but um, you're going to have to deal with that now. I'm sorry. I need to see. Okay, we need to make some flower petals, the inside of a flower, no idea what, what that's called, and then some stems out of the wire. And then we need to paint the petals with watercolors, because I've learned that you can do that. And then we need to combine all of the, them and then we have a pretty flower. Great, that's, that's, that's the plan. Will I be able to do that? Let's find out. <laughs> My confidence level is up here. It's currently in Earth's orbit circling ar around the globe and it is currently at the furthest point away from me. So that's where we're at. Time to make some flower parts. I've got scissors. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. <sighs> Let's all calm down, yes? Okay, I have now made five different shapes for some flower petals and also this leaf. And if they just look like random shapes to you, that's because they are. Trust the process again? Yes. Yes. Our petal reveal. Okay, that actually worked out way better than I thought it would. So now we already have a bunch of white flower petals and now I need to make a bunch more of those and then also some of the others in different colors. Let's go. I am now feeling a little bit more confident. Ah, 
Okay, I now have some tiny white flower petals, tiny blue ones, small yellow ones, medicore size orange ones. I almost said green, but that is orange. I am not colorblind, I think. Some larger white ones, I do want to paint these definitely, and then some, some leaves. Now there is still the, the, the middle part, the inside part of the, the flowers um, missing, but I think I'm going to first of all paint the petals because they need to dry. I'm going to get some watercolors now and then we can paint and make them look pretty and maybe a little bit more realistic because right now they kind of do not look realistic at all because they are just too evenly perfectly colored but um, nature is not perfect nature's imperfections make it perfect like the great philosophers of this earth have always preached i don't even know what i'm what i'm still talking about i'm going to get some some paint <laughs> It's the coldest hand that run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd But their hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea I've now painted all of the, the flower petals. They look so good. Oh my god. Look at them. Ah, uh, yes. Flowers. Very nice. Ooh, I really like those. I didn't paint those because they, they are fine as they are, but... Now I'm really excited to put these together. So um, what do we need next? I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah. One thing I've learned by the way is that you are not allowed to breathe in the presence of these uh, little guys because they will pack their little bags, board a spaceship, fly into the orbit and never return. So no breathing allowed. But who needs breathing anyways? That's way too overrated yeah okay now i think now we need the wire and then the inside of the flowers i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to make that yet but we'll figure it out and then some hot glue which might be a problem because i am not very well equipped to work with sharp objects and sharp tools so not entirely sure if i should handle things that are hot but i i'd be fine all right and i'll just painted some some pieces of of crepe paper for the middle parts of the, the inside part of the flowers. Why that dries? Because it is soaked. It is moisturized in its lane and flourishing. And while that is going on, we can cut some wire. I need a vase. Okay, this is where our beautiful, beautiful, wonderful flowers will go in. So now we can kind of guess how long the wire needs to be. Is that good? Thumbs up? You like this? Very nice. Okay, there's a little insect on my desk. What is he doing? Hello? Okay, sorry, focus. Flowers. We we want to make flowers. Okay, let's try to make our first flower. I hope this works because it would be great. <laughs> okay, I want to start with the blue flowers and I want to give them a yellow middle thing. So... This is a technique that I picked up in one of the videos, but I also only half remember it. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing by heart, but I'm making a little ball right now. L look at that. That's, that's great. Nice. Okay. And now we take my painted paper and put that around the little ball. Basically like this, but better. Let's cut that off and then we're going to put some very hot stuff on there and try not to burn ourselves. Yes, very good. Okay, I did manage to attach it, but there's more hot glue than anything. But surely we can fix it if we just put some petals around there. 30 seconds ago, my confidence level was very high and now it's back down in the seven realms of hell. So, but am I going to let that stop me? No, okay. Um, I'm. We can fix this. I know we can. Oh my god, okay. Okay, it's actually kind of looking nice. Who would have thought? My camera doesn't like it though. My camera says it's ugly. That is cute. I like that.
<laughs> oh my god, look how cute these are. That worked very well, actually. It did involve a little bit of practice, but after the first flower, I kind of got the hang of it, and it's so cute. Okay, now I made some with longer pieces of wire and a few shorter ones, and I want to attach the short ones to the longer ones now with this ribbon. I'm not very sure that will work, but... Let's try it. Things kind of do tend to work out all the time with my projects. Don't know how or why. I sometimes feel like that with every one of my projects that while I'm working on it, I um, get possessed by a ghost that is really good at arts and crafts and then it all works out in the end. So thanks to Joffrey, the arts and crafts ghost who's helping me with this. Okay, mixed feelings. I really like the flowers. The ribbon part looks absolutely horrible. I like to have multiple flowers in one. <laughs> that is an abomination. Oh my god. I think the wire I'm using isn't really suited for this because it has kind of a rubber coating and there's like a very thin piece of wire in the middle and then there's rubber on the outside. It just makes this very wobbly in general and also the ribbon I used is way too shiny and too bright but this will be hidden in the maze so it will be fine. <laughs> I mean the focus are the flowers on the top and they look cute so do like that. Blue ones success I'd say. So now I still have some yellow petals, some orange ones, white and more white and also these leaves. So I guess let's make some more flowers. Yay I'm excited. They look so cute. The top part we don't talk about the rest but the flowers they are cute. Let's make some quick flower update. I now have white ones, blue ones and orange ones. Very nice. I kind of only know one technique for making these so they all look kind of the same but because of the, the different colored and also different shaped petals they also kind of look different but kind of the same but uh, very cute so far. I, I like it. Little um, breaking news though. I that that is due to the mask don't mind that i really need to say thank you real quick because while i was recording this video right now while i'm doing that i hit 1000 subscribers and by the time i am recording this right here right now we are already at 1500 over 1500 hello <laughs> to all of you who subscribed you have no idea how much that means to me thank you so much i started this channel because i i like to craft silly little things and i think sharing them with others and maybe inspiring others through them is is really fun and that's why i started this channel of course i also wanted to try to grow it but my goal for the first year on youtube was hitting 100 subscribers and now i'm already over 1000 and it's not been a year so hello everyone um it's amazing i can't believe it y you guys are very cool every single one of my subscribers is a very cool person and if you also want to join the cool people club click that subscribe button if we do silly little arts and craft things here the videos are very chaotic every time that is due to me being me but it's fine um we're having fun here <laughs> chaos is fun yes just wanted to quickly say thank you okay but now i've got two more colors left i got some yellow flowers petals and some white pinkish ones and then also some leaves so let's make them now let's get back to work Looking over like you really know me Maybe take a picture, take a couple Guess I'm free I don't want to get from another guarantee Please. The flowers are done. I have a few notes that I am going to keep in mind if I do these flowers again and I think I'm going to make more of these flowers because they are looking 
really cool, really nice. Yeah, next to me. Oh, spoiler alert. But before I do my little review, it is of course time for the reveal. Time for you to see what I've created. And it's only a little bit ugly, but mostly looking very good. So here you go. In general, I think they look really cute and I am going to put them some somewhere in my room. Don't know where yet, but they will live here from now on. Few things that I would change if I'd make some paper flowers again. I'm definitely going to use different wire because as I said before, this wire has like a rubber coating and that is not really beneficial for <laughs> what I try to do here. Also, you can see the hot glue where I attached the flowers to the wire. With the blue ones, I tried to hide that with a ribbon, but that also didn't work too well. I think it looks more ugly with the ribbons than it does without them because the ribbon is kind of, it's too bright and too shiny. So I would also choose a different one for that. And I also just didn't do a very good job of attaching the ribbon to the wire. But I think practice is what I would need. But just the flowers, the part, I think they turn out really cute and I really like them. I think that the most important part that I did is to paint the paper with watercolors because it kind of gave them a more natural look because before the colors were way too bright and evenly colored and I don't know. Now they look natural and nice and beautiful and wow. I got some plans now. I am kind of 78.5% sure that my birds will still try to eat them. So I think I do need to put these away when I free the birds from their prison. But at least it's easier to, to store them somewhere where they can't reach them than real flowers. So I think this project is a success. I like them. I'm going to find a nice place for them now. And I hope you guys had fun as always. Again, thank you so much for over 1,500 subscribers now already as they I can't believe that. I'm so glad that you guys enjoy the silly little projects I'm making, that you enjoy my videos, that I can share my arts and crafts with you. I'm having a lot of fun and I'm glad to hear that you guys also have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely would recommend trying to make paper flowers because it wasn't that hard, to be honest, at least to get them to look like, like this. I mean, there are people out there who can make these way better than I do, but first try. Success. You don't need very expensive materials, so it's cheap to make, fun to make. Good project if you're bored. And now it's spring now, so very fitting. Do that if you want to. It's a lot of fun. I can recommend it. Thumbs up. Go subscribe. Everyone who subscribes immediately gets a plus 10 coolness boost. So it's worth it. <laughs> if you want, you don't have to, please. I just craft things. But if you want to join me, please do. I would be very happy about it. Tell me what you think in the comments. I really like them. And I will see you guys again next video. Goodbye. And thanks so much.